What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, listen, we back at you again with week number three in July for Soul Food Sunday. Hey, check this out. Listen, super easy. You already read that, you know, the name of this title, and I, today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make a Louisiana-style red beans and rice. I'm going to keep the rice simple. I'm going to be using my rice maker, but listen, it's all about them beans and getting that texture right so you put this over that rice and boom, you got it. Now, don't forget, this is a collaboration that started with Soul Food Cooking. Listen, it started last year, and this is what we're doing, right? We're dropping these every year. And don't forget, the hashtag Soul Food Sunday is real, you know, real important. Reason being, it's a lot of other channels that's out there, like Cooking with CJ, you know, uh, BZ Cooks, you know, myself. Again, the head of this right here is Soul Food Cooking. So listen, put the hashtag in, what you see on the screen right now, and you guys will be able to take a look at all the new videos down for Soul Food Sunday. Hey, so that I don't over talk it, let's get right into this video. Let's get over, let's go over these ingredients and let's get it. Now look, these are the ingredients that go in here. It looks like a lot, but it really is not. I'll start off by saying, look, my Pyrex, you know, uh, measuring cup right here this is only four cups but we're gonna need six cups so i'm gonna just point at this like this we got six cups of water what i did was right here i put in three links right just cut them down you can see the how i did you can cut them in, even in quarters if that's what you want to do like cut it in half and that in half all right and then we got the trinity right here we got bell pepper celery onions right we got salt we got a little cooking oil this is extra virgin olive oil of course, we gotta have the beans, right? I'll just show you, I just took these out of the refrigerator. These uh, pre-soaked overnight. And don't forget, you guys can hot soak them. Boil some water, cut the water off, put your beans in there, put the lid on top, let it soak for one hour. It's the same as doing it overnight, right? Now, we got smoked paprika, minced garlic. Now here, these next uh, three bowls I'm gonna show you, they got two ingredients in there also. This is dried oregano and dry thyme in here. Here, you guys can see, listen, it's got two. That's garlic powder and onion powder. And then this one right here, we got cayenne pepper and black pepper. And then right here, I got three bay leaves. You can use two if you got like the larger ones, but these were kind of like a little bit on the small side, so I went with three. Hey, so, you seeing it super easy i'm gonna be using my dutch oven so let's get it okay look the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this on medium heat then we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of this extra virgin olive oil and then we're gonna go ahead and put our andouille sausage in there so that we can brown brown it now we we'll add a couple of tablespoons of uh olive oil now i add my andouille sausage now what we want to do is we just want to brown it right so what I'm doing is just getting it coated, you know, with the cooking oil. Once I got it coated, then I'll leave it alone. Just try to make sure as many of them are as flat as possible. Now this is what you, you should be looking for right here. You just want them to brown. You don't want to overcook them. You don't want them to be dried out, right? So this right here is good. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn everything off. Right now, I'm gonna get me a slotted spoon. I'm gonna put it back into my, uh, back into the bowl, and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and let those stay in there while I mix up and get everything else ready. So then what you want to do is get yourself a slotted spoon, right? And you just want to drain all your grease. Listen, that's all your flavor, and you're going to need all of that, you know, for your veggies. Now, once that's done, it'll look like this. Okay, what I did was I just went ahead and brought my pot, bringing it back up to heat, you know, just turn that back on, got it on the medium heat, and you can see these little bits down here, right? No worries. Now we're going to go ahead and add our onion, bell pepper, and celery. And what this is going to do is, listen, the steam from these veggies is going to help get all your little, I'm going to just call this the flavor at the bottom of your, you know, your pack, your pot. Or even if you made it in a pan, you know what, this is what you want. So this will absorb everything that was left as the residue, you know, from cooking the sausage. We'll just let this start a little bit. We'll give this like about a two minute head start before we add our garlic. Now, after a two minute head start, I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic. This right here, you guys been following me for a minute, you know how we get down. You should be very, very familiar with this smell right here, with that Trinity and that, you know, that garlic. Now, if I was to add, I want you guys to let me know, if I was to add carrot to this, what would that be called? Some of you guys got it in the last video, but just tell me, what would that be? Now, we let that saute for about one minute, right? After that, 
Now we're gonna start adding the rest of our dry ingredients, right? So I'll come with that paprika and you know, just the rest of it. No need me to say the names because whatever you got left, you gotta put it in here. Now you just wanna keep mixing it up just the way you see I'm doing right here. Make sure it's all, you know, incorporated. And if it gets a chance to, you know, like get off of the edges, you wanna like scrape them edges. You wanna get everything nice and moist. And this right here, as you can see the bottom, look at that. Everything, all of the, the good flavor is gone. So we just cook this just for about a minute. Now, after about a minute and a half to two minutes with this saute in, I just rinsed my beans. Now we're gonna add our beans and then we're gonna add our water. Now you just wanna stir it up, get everything mixed in with your water. Now here's a little tip for you. Sometimes I use, you know, chicken broth or chicken stock. You know what I mean? I've done it where I've done three cups regular water and three cups of chicken stock. But this time I'm gonna do it just this way. Listen, we got a lot of seasoning in here. This is gonna give us a lot of flavor and we are gonna trust that process. Make it this way first. And then after the, you, you taste it this way, then we'll start experimenting. And then I want you guys to come back and tell me which way do you like best. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and get your bay leaves. Make sure you, when you put them in there, you submerge them and then you wanna give it a stir. Now we got the, <clears throat> the pot, you know, up to a boil, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce this down to like a medium low. We just want this to simmer. We're gonna set a timer for one hour, then we're gonna check it. But I tell you, we're gonna check it about halfway through that one hour just to make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom. We're gonna give it a stir and then we're gonna put our top back on. Remember, we're gonna check it at a half hour mark and give it a stir. Okay, it's been an hour, let's take a look at it. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna to check to see if your beans have reached the desired softness that you like, right? And after, after it does, look, I went ahead and got my Pyrex, you know what I mean? And then I got myself a ladle, right? I took some beans out. This right here is key. This is what's gonna give you that texture, you know what I mean? So check this out. As I start to smash them down, I'm using the back of my ladle, right? You just wanna mash them down. And you see how that looks right there? It's almost like we doing black eyed peas. Then we put it back in the inside, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a stir. And as you start stirring it, you'll see that it's starting to give you that look that we all know and love, you know, from uh, red beans and rice, and you know, you'll reach that texture, right? So we're gonna cook it a little longer with the lid off so that we can get it to our desired thickness. Now, once you reach your desired thickness, what you see right here, this right here is what I was looking for. Still wanted to have like a little bit of the, you know, the liquid on it that's not too thick not too thin. And then you wanna go ahead, go to your refrigerator and get out your, you know, your andouille sausage and just go ahead and add it. We're gonna let this bring you, you know, bring everything up to temp. So we're gonna let this cook for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say about maybe 10 more minutes, five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add some parsley to it. You know, fresh parsley works best. I don't have any fresh parsley, so I, I was forced to use, you know, I'm forced to use, you know, dry parsley. And now that we got our andouille sausage, you know, nice and hot and cooked in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take out, you know, these bay leaves. And you guys can see, this is it right here. Now it's time to go ahead and put it in a bowl and taste it. Now you guys can see, look at this consistency here. Ah yeah, this right here, if that don't say red beans and rice, I don't know what will. All right, so we got that. I'll just set that there. What I did was I took my bowl, so you guys can see, and I put half of it, you know, rice. And now I'm gonna put this in the inside, you know. Right. Now we'll sprinkle a little bit of this green onion on top, just to give it a little garnish. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Look at that right there. We finna get it in. So tell me what you guys think. I'm not gonna lie to you. Listen, I've been sampling it, you know, throughout the stages. I already know it's good. I'm gonna just hold it up right now. You just seen it. I got a thumbnail. I'm just finna go ahead and hit it with this right. Now that's the only thing I haven't done. And you know what? I like to have it with that green onion. That green onion give it just a nice little taste to it. You know, that's my thing. So now we got a little rice. I didn't mix it yet, but Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah. You know it's right. 
when you're making this because you can just smell it and it smell like what you know smell like home smell like that og you know red beans and rice now hold on man you gotta try this hey especially for my new cooks you know what i mean those and even the ones that has never ever made this before you gotta try it this right here put you down south right in the heart of it hey so let me just say this don't forget this is a hashtag soul food sunday you gotta go by and check and look at you know all the channels listen this is dropping today once you watch this video don't forget to go by and check out soul food cooking's video and see what they drop which i'm eager to see myself i know cooking with cj has something i know bz bz cooks has something you know what i mean so listen we got to go by take a look at what they have to offer you know what i mean this is why you guys are getting four all the way up to 10 videos on soul food sunday hey so with that being said let me just take this time to say listen if you're new to my channel go ahead don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking oh and making these delicious recipes hey so with that being said i'm out of here you guys peace